Hello, Billy. This is Brett from our Wave, and uh, today we're going to take a look at the Nasdaq and the SP, I think, as we'll mainly take a look at the what's going on in the high degree uh, time frames. But we'll also go uh, take a look at the intraday. So today is uh, Thursday, the seventeenth. Uh, the U.S. market has been open for about three, four, three hours, um, and that's where we are. So Nasdaq, we are above twenty thousand now. As you can see, the kind that I had here suggested an A, B, and C. Now, that is still possible by all means. Um, I would uh, let's just dive into it. Um, so let's go straight to the four hour. Yes, perfect. So the scenario for this would be at this point an anti diagonal into wave uh, C of B so something like this that would uh, by all means be the last resort for this count other than that we are going to be in, uh, to need to switch to a bullish alternate and uh, by looking at the S&P which we'll do it looks like we're more bullish than bearish so that's one way to look at it. Uh, the way that could be potentially better uh, to look at is, so that's one way to look at it. This is extremely bullish. Um, as usual, my apologies, but trading view moves my waves. A one, two, three, four, five, higher degree, so inter uh, primary wave one and two, and now we're just basically going straight towards even 40,000. Um, is that possible? Yes, is that likely? Uh, not my preferred count. I'm more thinking about a, um, I guess I'm going to need to modify this. So um, I just briefly count it. Um, so without, you know, using all the sub counts, because this kind of be the same. So the main point is, uh, this is possible. There you go. Now let me zoom in. So same count as as the other, um, as the other. The only difference is that wave four is in place, and what could have been a flat. This would be a running flat, if you want to be more precise. A B C, um, and now we're just continuing higher. One two three four five possible one two and uh, infinity and beyond now as I said uh, several months ago 20,000 was going to be important it is proven to be important um, as long as we keep training above it um, we can look for their upside and that's what we are uh, what it looks like we're seeing right now um, right so I think this could be the count at this point and uh, the reason I say that is um, looking at the S&P, which we're going to do right now. Uh, so this is going to be my preferred account. Um, the S&P here. This is my preferred account, as you can see. A one, two, one, two, three, four. And here, at this point, now let me, oopsie. Okay, let me see what happened here. in the making um, I'm thinking about yeah I guess I'm, I guess I'm just gonna have to do this don't I ah. okay so sorry about that now here you could also argue this is a three wave move um, you could um, the way to count it would be a one two three four and five if you were wondering and I'm gonna put this in there okay uh, so here what I wanted to say is at this point it looks like a one two so pretty much similar to the Nasdaq with the difference that I think we are where we at all time high with the Nasdaq god I forgot so one two three four five one two one two three four five 
and just continue higher. Now you may wonder, could we have a wave 4 in here similar to the Nasdaq? Uh, I guess you could. You could put it here, put, place it here and now you would be in 1, 2 of 5. So if you place it here, you would be in... Uh, let me just do this. You would be in... one two three four five similar to the nasdaq so that's why i'm so bullish on the nas i mean so bullish to some degree on the nasdaq and i'm not um because i look at the s p and uh makes sense to be bullish now you may wonder uh barrett um put this in here you may wonder barrett um what what other accounts well this is one way to look at it one two three four five want to complete it now given the fact this was shorter than this and this is supposed to be one degree higher you know the way i think it uh highly unlikely um so i don't really like this count uh oops okay i had it here in the short term there you go okay i removed this and uh yeah for the short term counts really that's the way i look at them either this one two one two three four five this I don't really like. Um, yeah, I don't really like this. Now you can, um, in terms of the degree, see this is minor. It's not really important. Um, it's the way I labeled. It's because of how I labeled, you know, what happened before this, um, which obviously in this count you can see even the larger degree counts as I showed a couple of times here on the channel, here and there. Um, but yeah, for the short term, that's um, that's all I have to say. Either way, for here. Or here, um, this looks like the three wave move. We talked about it previously. A, B, C. You can count this as a five wave move if you if you would. Um, it's possible. Should be able to show it here. Yes, one, two, three, four, five. There you go. A, B, C. As you kind of so a, a one, two, um, which is why you can place wave four here. Um, and yeah, one, two, one, two. So it looks bullish both an s and the sp any questions let me know in the comments um let you know which on the discord that's really free and you can ask in there thank you guys and i'll see you in the next one